Okay guys, we got gun mount high mileage fuel injector cleaner. It says it restores fuel economy. So let's see if that's true. Intake valves, combustion chamber, fuel injector cleaner. So I use this in the combustion chamber. I've done some cleaning with this and I have a bore scope before and after. That's a different video. This video will be testing the claims of restores fuel economy. So I have some really good test results for you. Let's go ahead and add the cleaner. Let's continue our test. Okay guys, as you can see, the trip meter was restarted for the miles per gallon. <clears throat> the most important thing here is this will be the dry test shows the MPG, the temperature outside, and see the odometer, that just shows our mileage, but the way this test is going to be done to get this test the most accurate is going to be, for one, not use anything that we don't have to. For example, um, don't use any air, don't use uh, any, basically anything in the car at all, roll the windows up. So I turned on the air for just a second, that way I could kind of defog the windows. They fogged up really quick so we had it on a couple seconds that's it and we want to make sure this test is the same every time so I want to make sure that this fuel additive can live up to its claims better MPG among other things that it says it can do so like I said the temperature outside will be the same the temperature of the car will be the same because I don't start the trip until about 15 or 20 miles in and the test is done at 55 miles per hour so all the tests will be done at 55 miles per hour and we'll make sure and have the temperature outside be the same so you know it's showing first it showed I think 68 now it's to 67 I know it decreases um, usually a little bit as you drive um, after the car had been sitting okay so this trip that I'm taking is an hour long trip you know I drove for about uh, 15 minutes or so so that way the car could get up to operating temperature we want it to operating temperature for both tests and I want the terrain the area to be the same so if I go up a hill or an incline I want to make sure I do it every time so I guess you guys kind of get the point right so I'm going to show you guys the MPG this car um, gets currently before the additive so you guys stay tuned like I said this is an hour long trip of course we'll speed this process up for you guys and I'm doing this test at night because for one I think it's really hard to do a test like this of the day because well, let's face it of the day uh, there's a lot more traffic on the road that I'm currently on, so therefore, you know, I want to go on somewhere that uh, I won't have to worry about traffic later of the night, so that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, that's why I'm doing it at night. Um, this way, I have the cruise control set on 55 miles an hour exactly, and I'll be able to maintain that. Um, I've done this before 
with other additives and you know sometimes you know some vehicle pulls out on the road it, it does happen but I try to work my way around it without breaking cruise control or really changing anything up so that you guys can have a, a, a accurate test if not I'll repeat it until I'm able to do it so like I said the speed the terrain the temperature of the car the temperature outside even the weight of the car will be the same so I won't be adding anything in the car I mean you know so everything will in fact be the same so you guys can take a look I'll show you guys uh, we're currently outside right now and like I said I start the test at the same spot on the road so you know I'd already started it back so speed of the vehicle is the same as I said 55 so as you can see cruise control set maintaining the same speed same temperature um, not using any uh, thing in the car heat air anything like that um, the fuel now the fuel is basically full when I started and I want the weight to be the same. So in fact, I will make sure that the weight is the same. The next trip too, I'll add a little bit of fuel tomorrow as well when I conduct the next test. So like I said, the test has to be done at night and this is an hour long drive. so. I'll get the additive, put it in the car, and we'll be good to go. So, as you can see, as you can see, it's dark outside, and that's why I'm doing the test, obviously, because there's no cars out, like I said before. So, I mean, you'll see one here and there every now and then, but usually it won't be a problem. So, we're good to go. And as far as the additive goes, I'm gonna use the additive the exact same. Um, I'm gonna use it the same as the instructions say. And if you guys want to change the mix of the additive, the mixture that is, then I can do that for you guys. If you want me to add a little more, use a little less, then I can definitely do that. I'm really excited to find out, does this really work? Are these guys really just claiming this stuff? You know, does this additive really work? So I guess we're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here we are again. And you can see the average MPG. So we are coming up to the spot at which it comes to an end. And we'll see what the average MPG is. So, I'm curious to find out. This is a big hill we're going up. I live in a region where there's a lot of mountains. So, here we are. We're almost up to that point. We're at 38.5 MPG. 38 miles per gallon. want to make sure we get this as close as possible okay and we now have it 37.7 there's a flashing light that was overhead I like calling these guys out when they're not being honest because you buy their product and if they lie about anything that they're doing hey you know I'm not gonna buy their product you know and I don't expect a miracle in a bottle, but I expect reasonable results. So. Hey y'all, it's day two and time to get some results. As you can see, the mileage per gallon is up. That's because we just started the test. Now we have everything ready and we're finishing our test. So let's see if this additive really holds up. So. 
This additive's mostly just gonna work on the injectors, which this is a good car, or should I say a good candidate, because it does have the 80 some thousand miles, as you can see, and it's direct injection, so we'll know if the injectors were cleaned, so if the injectors were cleaned, it's definitely going to help, and you have the combustion chamber, so the direct injection fuel injectors are in the combustion chamber on these vehicles, so they will get a lot of carbon buildup. That's one of the downsides to these vehicles. So another thing is your uh, intake valves, but since this will not be going over the intake valves, um, we won't have to worry about the intake valves being cleaned. So we'll do a separate test for that. And as you can see, the mileage is better so far, but we still got a ways to go. Um, you can see the temperature is about the same. So the temperature outside that is, uh, the temperature of the car is definitely the same. Um, the weight of the car is the same. And some of these roads are really curvy. So this camera mount does not want to cooperate with me. Let's see, I'm just excited to see if this additive works and I'm ready to move on to the next one. I want to see which one works best and I want to see which one doesn't work at all. So I'm not being paid or sponsored. I buy all these products with my own money and you know I'm going to give you an honest answer. Yes, test without the additive so just a little bit longer we'll have this test finished the time is almost here so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below is this just another snake oil or does this product actually work you know I'm ready to find out for myself I'm sure you are as well there's a lot of snake oil products out there Let's see if this one's actually a winner. It's getting close, but it's still got a good little ways to go. We're coming up to the finish mark, and as I told you before, there's overhanging lights when we reach it. Here we are. Now, let's see if you guys guessed it right. Me, I'm not so sure about this stuff see the flashing lights above and boom there we are 39 miles per gallon so we hit 39 miles per gallon wow not too bad that's definitely an improvement so I'm a little surprised with the results I didn't really expect to see much of anything. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. These are some of the additives that we're going to be testing out. STP Super Concentrated Fuel Injector Cleaner. Unclogs dirty fuel injectors. STP Gas Treatment. Helps maintain fuel efficiency. High Mileage Fuel Injector Cleaner. Restore Fuel Economy. Reduce Emissions. Lucas Fuel Saver. MPG increase gas or diesel sea foam so GDI cleaner direct injection cleaner um, standard fuel injection cleaner carbureted engines CRC throttle body and air intake cleaner mass airflow sensor cleaner I want to see what difference even these make when they're treated to a vehicle that hasn't been maintained properly. STP high mileage fuel injector and carburetor treatment, fuel injector cleaner, super tech. Who knows, maybe the cheap stuff's the best. I'm ready to find out. I know that. 
We've already done some tests on some of these. You can go check out that video. So STP, Complete Fuel System Cleaner, removes deposits from entire fuel system. Well, that seems to be the jack of all trades. I'm definitely ready to try that one out also. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. And come back, check out the new upcoming fuel add to videos, and check out the ones you guys haven't seen. Uh, those were some of the first videos I had ever done. So, you know, um, thank you guys.